it is a milestone moment. High school graduation and everything that goes with it. But like so many others, a local teenager is dealing with losing out on that experience. But she says she's also losing out on money from a company that she believes is treating her unfairly. So she contacted the KVU Defenders. So this is my prom dress. Lizzie Op. I originally wanted to sew it myself. Um, but that turned out to be too daunting of a task. Was so ready. Started looking online and it was almost exactly what I wanted. Everything was lining up for the Lake Travis High School senior. I got to work with a really good photographer. I think that this outfit was my favorite. Until COVID-19 railroaded her rite of passage. These were taken when my senior year was still going to happen. No finishing her senior year with friends, no graduation ceremony, no prom. So she spends her quarantine time like many of us. I've been watching a lot of Tiger King recently and I found some transfer paper, I made a t-shirt. <laughs> but in between cooking, bath times for Foxy, good. and crosswords, Lizzie has been in a squabble over a stretch limousine. She and 16 friends pulled their money to rent a limo like this to travel to and from prom in style. Once they no longer needed it, she emailed and called the company she used to book it online. Price for limo. He said, we're not making any exceptions. Our policy is no refunds for the deposit. Just a credit, which they didn't need. The contract does state more than once all deposits are non-refundable, but the unwavering policy puzzled the 17-year-old considering we're in the midst of a world pandemic. I think it's very unethical and it, it is taking advantage of this this time right now. The teenagers were out 630 bucks. Two companies took a chunk of the overall deposit, price for limo, which does the booking, and its local affiliate with the vehicles, Curtis Limousines. First, I called price for limo. Hi, my name is Mike Rush. I'm calling on behalf of a viewer who has lost her uh, a deposit and one isn't able to get it back. Three calls, messages left, no response. So I moved on to Curtis Limousines, the local company with a business address at this East Austin home. At first, things seemed to go great with the owner, Curtis Walker. He told me that he needed to take care of it, but then suggested paying half. And then over the course of several oh, really calls, is, are you planning on returning their deposit or not? No matter how I asked it, so you're not in a position to give her her deposit back. I couldn't get a clear answer from Curtis Walker. She's going to get her deposit back. He mentioned several concerns. He wasn't notified soon enough. He turned down other offers because he was holding a limo for the teenagers. Proper procedures weren't followed. And even the idea that hypothetically, he said, if the pandemic cleared up in a few days, she may want that limo. Well, that, that's a huge hypothetical. I mean, I... Somewhere in that confusion, a message of clarity from Price for Limo. Soon after I reached out, Lizzie got this message from the company, stating that after speaking with the local service, Lizzie would get her deposit money back from both companies, although it could take up to two months. Walker followed up with an email to Lizzie saying, with no money coming in right now, that's a projected date. So while some losses, I was really excited to wear it, but now I don't get to <laughs> can't be recouped. Lizzie should eventually get her money back, but worries about other customers who might be treated the same way. People need to come together rather than trying to take advantage of a situation like this. And we know that Lizzie is not alone. We found other bad reviews from customers of Price for Limo complaining about the same thing. If you're in a similar situation with this company or any other company, we do have resources that might help you under this story at KVU.com. And if you have an issue you'd like the KVU Defenders to investigate, give us a call at the number on your screen, or you can email us at defenders at KVU.com.